Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 17 of Let's Play Brave Fencer Musashi, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, I'm back at the entrance to Meandering Forest, and thanks to all the hints those three mercenaries given me, I was able to decipher it into what you need to do. First, you have to go left. And then you go up, up, right, up, up, left, up, 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 up. I know! It's a bit confusing to me too! But that's how it's done! Once you get through all that, you should be able to reach the fortress. Let's just go up that steady path as usual. If you wanted to look up Shogi from the uh, library, you can go ahead and do that yourself. Hmm, starting to snow. Gee, I wonder what this can mean. I guess we'll find out soon enough. I gotta go up two more times, and then left, and go up all the way. Okay. Hopefully I didn't screw up. Well, it's still snowing, so that's a really good sign. Going up, going up! Going up, going up, and still going up, and Bieber sucks balls while we're going up. Yeah, I could be a platinum artist in like two seconds. Is this the thieves' hideout? In I go. In I go. Why would I turn around after going through all that, right? The door's open. Are they in there? Hmm, could be a trap. Out of that, or they don't bother to lock their doors like some ignorant people. Hey, you! You one of those dumb thieves? Dumb thieves? Hmm. Ah, you mean leader's force. Do I look like I belong with such scum? My name is Ginger Ale. Isn't it an exquisite name, darling? Sorry. Don't know much about the names in this world. By the way, is this the thieves' hideout? Perhaps. But they're not here at Frozen Palace anymore, darling. I wonder where they went. Shoot! Came here for nothing. I've let the geezer down, too. Hey, where are you going? Sorry, but I have no time to babysit. See you later. Don't catch cold, darling. I wonder who she is. Her. Anyways, maybe I can find something about the five scrolls. Before I catch a cold. Oh yeah, that woman there named Ginger Ale, that's actually Bubble's sister in case you're wondering. You know, the one that won first prize in Miss Thirst Quencher. My memory's here. Yeah, that's all you need to know. There. Okay, I think I'll simulate that enemy over there, though you have to be very careful. You do not want to touch it because it will poison you. You want to assimilate this to get a map. There we go. View a map the Frozen Palace. So it's only rooms you've already been to, and once you climb up, it gets virtually useless. The only place you really need to go is this way. I'm not gonna lie, I really love the music here. It's pretty catchy. And we're dealing with Chill Penguin's retarded cousins. Even if you cut their heads off, they're not fully dead. Yeah, they are very nasty penguins to come at you even when they're decapitated. And they shoot lasers at you that I almost thought were blood earlier. Now to get across this pit, you need the penguins to push the ice. And you can go for a ride. Now let me go this way. What's over here? Okay, a whole bunch of penguins. Yeah, I'll wipe them out. Look at this! The lasers are like the blood! Fatality! Musashi wins. Like seriously, that would make a really good Mortal Kombat fatality shish kebab. Just throw them up in the air and impale them through the stomach. 
Like, that's just hardcore way to kill someone. Like, that just preaches death there. Almost like you're shoving up at their ass. So this is basically a suppository of pain. Let's see what the sign reads. May the lonely have victory. Yep, even if you're lonely, boys and girls, don't worry. You're still a winner. Yeah, you're especially a winner if you go to the mall and see those young couples holding hands, not even smiling. Isn't that the best thing in the world, watching them look like they have rigor mortis? Just being so emotionless and everything. I'm thinking, wow, I don't have it so bad after all. Keep that in mind, people. And you'll be fine. Ah, I found the red eye. It's radiating mysticism. That's right, it better be mysticistic. Otherwise, that shit ain't worth it. Enough said. Okay, I think I'll go this way now. Oh, Pincho Field. Didn't take me long to find one. Technically, I already did find one, I just can't reach it yet. Chef Julian. Hey, I'm free? Thought I'd never get out. Well, actually, to be honest, I was unconscious the entire time. <laughs> Frick. But at least my BP goes up. Can't complain about that. What the hell? Are those monkeys or wolves? Or just what is that? Oh well, might as well get some health. Hmm. Unfortunately, I cannot get up there. This looks like a one-way path, and I'm on the wrong end. Oh well, I'll come back later. Okay, you are so not Chuck Norris. These Lucario ripoffs. There. Now what? Oh, I'm back here. Well, let's see. I did see a door with a red eye on it. Hollow cavity. Use red eye? Ah, give it a try. Oh, Musashi thinks he's Mother Goose. Yeah. Okay, so the red eye was actually a key. Makes sense. Alright, let's go. Okay, here's a new enemy. This is basically a clone of you. Yeah, damn plants. I'm trying to freeze me solid. What do you think you are, an ice plant? Well, actually you are, but... Shut up! I'm gonna die for that. Okay, this looks like a very simple corridor. Damn it. What's up with this guy trying to electrocute me? That's not cool. Ah, long tube, and there was a big straw. Okay, well, I really don't need to sell all this stuff. I mean, I got a lot of money already. Okay, there's a big ugly looking ape there. But basically, I'm not supposed to kill that ape. Why? Because I need to get up there. And I cannot jump that high. Not even Mario can do that. So what you need to do is have that little big ape over there give you a lift. See? You don't have to be a killjoy to get through life. You just gotta use your head. Speaking of using my head, you're gonna have to for this maze. This one's a pain in the ass. Okay, this looks like a monkey mixed with a wolf, mixed with a raccoon, mixed with Chuck Norris. And you still fail. Yeah, I get some health back. Unfortunately, I cannot zoom out to get a better view. You're stuck with this close-up, I'm sorry. Hmm. Oh, Finchel Field. Ah, who are you? Ah, Alchemist, Lean Man. Sir Musashi, you liberated me from my imprisonment. Therefore, I may finally return to the palace. I'm experiencing some deeply moving emotions. That's Alzheimer's, my friend. That's Alzheimer's. Trust me, you'll be pretty happy when it kicks in. Yeah, you're gonna have to die now. 
for listening in on that Alzheimer's conversation. Okay, let me go this way. Oh, there's a little doorway over here. Hmm, what's this sign read? May the unhurt have victory. Basically what this means is do not take damage against killing these enemies. Otherwise you would have to start over. The worst thing is you gotta deal with these clones. But, even though they can get really close to you and attack the same way you do, they cannot use any of the scrolls. What? Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. I didn't want to read this sign. But apparently reading it left me unhurt. So I took advantage. Hopefully I'll scorch this guy to death, but there we go. Personally, using the fire scroll is the best way to dispatch these clones. Without getting hit yourself. But unfortunately, if you do get hit, you have to leave and deal with all these enemies again. It's unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. I can't help but thinking that whenever I use the fire scroll, it looks like male genitalia. I got this long flaming cock, and two balls around me. Oh, this guy's getting dangerously close. Let me adjust my angles. I really don't want to get hit by this guy after getting this far. Oh, there we go. Is that all of them? Ah, yes it is. So, I think I shall grab this now. Hmm, but I think I may have too many items. Yes, I do. Ah, I'll just free up some room and use a mint. There, I got the blue eye. Sweet! Alright, well, there we go. So apparently all these eyes are sealed with a puzzle. That's not too bad. Once you get the hang of the puzzles, well, you're good to go. Ooh, 500 bucks, I'll take that. Ooh, can go this way. Okay, this maze doesn't seem that complicated. Pathways are quite simple when you think about it. There. That didn't take too long. Okay. Oh, spikes? Hmm. How the hell am I supposed to get out of this one? Well, actually, there is a way you can get out of this. What you need to do is assimilate. No, not Mr. Chuck Norris over here. Or Chuck Norris Coon. What you need is that giant golem head. There. Assimilated steel. Press the circle button to become Metal Man and destroy special thorns. Though do not get hit by your own weapon, otherwise you're down in one or two hits. Nah, just kidding. It's not that Metal Man. You're a much better one. Go steel and go right through the spikes like it's butter. Hmm. Pretty simple, right? Okay, oh jeez, I wonder what I'm supposed to do here, deep. Okay, now I'm over here. Hmm, let's see, Vincial Field, the one I saw in the beginning. Okay, you're looking a bit too happy with that knife there. Cold, it's freezing. Have I been saved? I want to chop some meat, a glistening red surface of freshly sliced meat. Can't you just picture it? Roll. I don't know what kind of meat you're picturing, but it's none of my business. Okay. Now what? Wait a minute. I do remember seeing a door with a blue eye when I was in this room. And I did pick up a blue eye. Yeah, I think you can fill in the blanks yourself. If you can't... What the hell are you doing here? Use blue eye? Give it a try. Alright, now we're going to go through this room. Let's see what we got to deal with. Oh, geez, another bench show field. Well, this is convenient. Janitor Sloppy Joe. Oh, slobs. I cleaned the washroom just ten minutes ago. What? This isn't a washroom. 
Sorry for yelling, but I can't stand it when people make a mess of the toilets. They call me the spirited toilet bowl cleaner, Sloppy Joe. Later. Yeah, that guy's a douche. I have to think, if he plays a guitar, women don't want to sleep with him. I'm not kidding. Ow, don't peck me, you pecker. There, get my health back. To be honest, this dungeon isn't that long. Once you get the hang of it, it just seems like a walk in the park. Okay, do not get grabbed. I do not want to get back down there. There. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Hmm, a chest. Some red shoes. Ah, legendary shoes. I can now walk on ice without slipping. How about that? Remember when I was climbing up there that I couldn't get to because it was so slippery? Well, now I can climb it up. And I think the legendary shoes also have another ability. I could be wrong. But when you wear them, you actually get tired, like, in less time. I mean, it takes longer to get tired. I think that's what it does, though the game doesn't explain it. Man, I'm caring. Ah, too much shit. Uh, what can I get rid of? Well, I don't use W gel anymore. There we go. Ed's undies. And Ed, he was one of the thieves earlier. Ugh. I don't even want to know where that's been. I think there could be some disease that's responsible for all that stuttering. Oh, great. Now we're in another maze. Let's see what this one's all about. Okay, another golem. I don't need you. But I picked up some Dran, which is neat. Chuck Norris Raccoon, fuck you. Why are there a bincho field nearby? So I'm getting a little bit further away from it. Oh, that's a good way to get through the maze, you just go on top of it. Hmm, what's in here? God. See, this is what happens when you're so prepared, you end up screwing yourself over. Um, let's see, I'll probably just discard an antidote, just to see what's in here. Oh, it's Ben's undies. Oh, I, I feel so happy now that I gave up an antidote for that. It's probably got Dorito stains all over it. Uh, let's see, the closer to the bench, up oh, there it is. Sweet! Hee hee, I've been saved! Now I can play my drums and make florid and enchanting music for all people to hear. Farewell! Okay, well at least I'll add some music to the uh, palace theme. Once I actually talk to him, of course. Okay, I'm actually going to need you, so just wait here. Actually, I won't be able to get you if you're facing me. So I'm gonna kill you off, and then I'll come back from the other side. Oh, I gotta grab 500 bucks. Because the thing is, there's an enemy here that I need to kill with a clone. And what better way to get a clone ability than from a clone enemy? There. Press the circle button to make a clone, press it again to make it an explode and engulf enemies. 16 BP it costs. Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. Here you go. Oh look, the enemy thinks it's me. So just keep grabbing it and... Boom. And that is how you get the green eye. Perfect. Oh, but I need to free up some inventory. Let's see, some undies I don't need. Ah, now I got the green eye. Now, where's the green door? It could be somewhere in the maze itself. Let me take a look. Okay, don't do that. That's not cool. 
That's also not cool. Damn it. There. Fuck. I'll get some health back, even though it's only 30. There. Take care of you. Ah, here's where I needed the green door. Hollow cavity. Yeah, give it a try. Instead of just saying the same stuff over and over again. It's like, get the hint! Hmm. Well, this room looks familiar. Just sends it back this way. Okay, I, c I can live with that. In fact, I don't think there's any more eyes I need to get. This is more of a shortcut to get back to that main door. So let's take advantage of it. Nah, I don't need to save again. Actually, I think I should, just in case. Nope, nah. oh, wait, wait, I pressed the wrong button. Leave my Yep, leave it here, why not? There. Going up. Yeah, see, there's a big door over there. Three different colors on it. Oh, gee, I wonder what this means. Whoa! Hard as a rock! Must be a way to open it somehow. Yeah, it looks like it's made out of ice. And we all know what this means. Fire. Hmm. Three cavities. Maybe if I insert the red eye, blue eye, and green eye... Ah, uh, whatever. There, insert the three eyes. Without much passion. It's like, yeah, fuck it, just put it in there. There. Now I can go in through this door. Now before I go up, there's actually something over here. So why don't I go get it? Ah, black cloth? Or, oh, it's a T hanky. That's actually short for Topo's hanky. Remember, Ed, Ben, and Topo are of leader's force. Good to know they left their stuff here, all their personal belongings. Of all the undies I could get, why does it have to be the two guys? Wouldn't it be nice if I got, like, Topo's undies? I wouldn't sell that shit! But then again, she might be diseased. Might be a good idea to sell it. Hmm, what's in here? Oh, don't tell me. I used the other memory box thinking there wasn't another one up ahead. I could have just used that one. Okay, there's a door closed on the torches. Yeah, you pretty much can guess what we gotta do next. What's beyond this door? Ah, you'll find out in the next part. See ya, everybody.